Hi there friend, I'd like to start today by asking you a simple question. Who are you? If possible, I'd like you to pause this video and reflect on this question. Or better still, you could write out your answer. Now, did your answer go in this fashion? My name is John Doe and I'm a student. I'm an entrepreneur, a professor, a stay-at-home mom, something along that line. While you've made a really good start, what you've done in reality is to describe yourself in terms of your titles and roles and there's probably over a million other people out there in the world that would describe themselves in the exact same way. I'm sure you know however that there is no other person in the world who's the same as you. So it's fair enough to say that you probably have not described yourself well enough. What if we decided to strip ourselves of all the titles and the roles? Would you still be able to answer that question, who are you? Yes, I'm talking about the real you. My name is Tunde Kokoyi and I share useful knowledge to help people maximize their passion and purpose so they can enjoy fulfillment in their personal and professional lives. A major tool that I would like to talk about today that will help you discover yourself better is the concept of self-awareness. What exactly is self-awareness? Self-awareness is having a deep understanding of who you truly are, your emotions, your strengths, your weaknesses, your values, and how they impact others. Self-awareness is knowing what makes you tick, as well as what makes you explode. Self-awareness is knowing what you know and what you do not know. The less you know about yourself, the more you continue to role play, to live other people's lives, or try to imitate other people. But if you understand yourself at your inner core, you won't feel the need to compare yourself to others. You will radiate confidence and you'll be better placed to help others. For you to live your life to the maximum, you need to know who you truly are. Friends, self-awareness is a process and it's not possible to be fully self-aware in an instant. But thankfully, we all have elements of self-awareness, otherwise we will not be able to fit into society. The good news therefore is you do not have to start from zero, but yes, you still need to improve your self-awareness because the more self-aware you are, the better you become as a person. Now there are two components to self-awareness. There's the internal component and that is how do you see yourself? And then there's the external component, how do others see you? You do not want to be living your life solely from your own perspective. Neither do you want to rely on the perspective of others. You need to find a balance between the two, just like looking through the lens of a microscope. How can you tell when you meet someone who's self-aware? People who are self-aware talk openly about their emotions and the impact that it has on their lives and their work. They have self-confidence, they know their abilities, they capitalize on them and they know when to ask for help. People who are self-aware continually seek feedback. They ask, how did I do? How can I improve? You might be asking, why do I need to be more self-aware? First is that it helps you to make better decisions. It is a well-known fact that people run away from making decisions. But when you have a clear understanding of what you want and what you do not want, what you like and what you do not like, it helps you to make your decisions faster and they're usually better decisions. Self-awareness also improves your self-esteem, your fulfillment and your relationship with others. When you have a clear understanding of your thoughts and your behavior patterns, it helps you to understand other people better. Self-awareness also improves your confidence, your communication, your performance at work, and it makes you ultimately a better leader. I therefore want to share three tips that can help you to improve your self-awareness. And the first of them is self-reflection. You need to practice self-reflection regularly, if possible, every day. While you can do this at your own convenience, many people find it helpful if they do it at the end of the day, just before going to bed at night. And what you're basically doing is you're checking in with yourself, saying, how did I feel today? What do I need to do more of to become a better person? And what do I need to stop? While people commonly say that experience is the best teacher, you'll agree with me that there is no point in failing an exam, going through a heartbreak or divorce, losing your money if you cannot learn from such an experience. Experiences can only teach us when we evaluate and we learn from them. And the way to achieve this is through self-reflection. The next useful tip I'd like to talk about is journaling. Traditionally, journaling refers to writing out your thoughts or feelings and how they impact you and storing them in a special book which you call your journal. But in today's age, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the written form. 
There are several apps that you can use for journaling. For example, I use one called Reflectly. Alternatively, you can just use the notes feature on your phone or your personal computer and store it securely. Now, journaling is a little different from keeping a diary. A diary is just where you store events as they happen in terms of dates and time. A journal, on the other hand, is a personal space or a place where you can think, where you can feel, where you can dream and discover. Journaling helps you to identify your strengths and your weaknesses and how they impact you. As most people say, they say focus on your strengths and ignore your weaknesses. I would rather say focus on your strengths and be aware of your weaknesses because if you're not aware of your weaknesses, they can stand in the way of your success. Journaling is a way that you can help to identify and manage your weaknesses. The last tip which I would like to talk about today is asking for feedback. Like I mentioned earlier, there is the external component of self-awareness. You need to know how other people see you. See, no man is an island, and the quality of your life is directly related to the quality of your relationships. The feedback I'm talking about here is different from the periodic reviews at work where you can cherry pick your reviewers. I'm talking about honest, in-depth review. A way to do this is to select the people who are closest to you, those who know you best. It could be your friend, your spouse, your colleague, your manager at work. What you need to do is to get them to sit down with you and you ask for a honest review or feedback. Note that this has to be personal, confidential, and if possible, done face to face. You want to be asking the, the following questions. What is your perception of me? What one thing can I do differently that can have the greatest impact on my success? Yes, I know that in today's world, we all want 100% positive likes, feedbacks or review. And just one negative review out of 100 positive reviews is enough to make many of us have a bad day. But I'd like you to think of it this way. Although we all love praise, there is really anything to learn from praise. It is rather in the constructive criticisms that shows us our inadequacies, our defects, those are the ones that we can actually learn from. One of the most successful entrepreneurs of our time, Bill Gates, says that we all need people that can continually give us feedback. That is how we improve. So I would like you to be open and to accept feedback because that is where you can truly learn. In summary, these are the three things that will help you know yourself better. Reflect often, keep a journal and continue to seek and learn from feedback. The Greek philosopher Socrates once said, an unexamined life is not worth living. My advice for you today, dear friend, is this. Start to know yourself better. So guys, if you haven't read my new book, The Illiterate Professional, How to be Successful and Fulfilled in Your Life and Career, the big question for you is, what are you waiting for? Here's what people are saying about my new book. Here's one from Paul. It says, one of the best self-help books for professionals in this decade. This is one of the best self-help books I've read in the last decade. This book is easy to read, concise, and drawn from the writer's personal experience as an award-winning medical doctor. Here's another top-notch review from Tosin. She says, necessary, yes. Simplistic, yes. Engaging, yes. A classic, absolutely. This book highlights important financial lessons you may have known but never paid attention to. I particularly love the simplicity of such profound knowledge presented by Dr. Kukoi. You get actionable and effective wisdom in every chapter. Another great review from Ogo, he says, Excellent. I read through this book with great anticipation and it did not disappoint me. His delivery of his recipe for success is unmatched. I highly recommend this piece of work to all who seek a guide for success in the 21st century. So there you have it guys. This book is easy to read and will definitely change your approach and perspective to success and fulfillment in life. So why not hurry on to Amazon and search for The Illiterate Professional or simply click on the link in the show notes below and grab yourself a copy today. Thank you for listening. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video about self-awareness. Please subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.